Curio Nexus brings to you the awakening of your neurotransmitters for an indefinite balanced lifestyle. Hi there and welcome. Today we embark on an intriguing journey into the human mind, exploring the secrets of our neurotransmitters. Our brain, the command center of our body, uses these chemical messengers to help regulate our mood, energy, and overall well-being. When in harmony, neurotransmitters like dopamine, serotonin, and endorphins can significantly contribute to a balanced lifestyle. They can uplift our mood, boost our motivation, and even help us find joy in the everyday. However, awakening these neurotransmitters is not a one-size-fits-all journey. It requires an understanding of our unique needs, habits, and preferences. So, are you ready to unlock the potential of your neurotransmitters and navigate towards a more balanced lifestyle? This journey might just be the key to enhancing your overall well-being. Let's dive in and explore how we can awaken our neurotransmitters for a more balanced lifestyle. First up, we have dopamine, the neurotransmitter associated with reward and pleasure. Dopamine is like that friend who gives you a high five or a pat on the back for a job well done. It's our body's way of saying, well done, keep going. Now, how can we naturally awaken this dopamine powerhouse? Well, it's simpler than you might think. Let's begin with exercise. Regular physical activity, even something as simple as a brisk walk or a leisurely bike ride, can do wonders for your dopamine levels. Aim to get at least 30 minutes of moderate intensity exercise several times a week. You know the saying, a healthy body, a healthy mind. Well, it's true. Next, let's talk about goals. Setting and achieving small goals or tasks can give you a sense of accomplishment and guess what that does? Yep, it boosts your dopamine levels. So, whether it's finishing a book, cleaning your room or even just making your bed, every little achievement counts. Now, on to mindfulness and meditation. These techniques can help reduce stress and increase focus, both of which are beneficial for dopamine production. When you're mindful, you're present. And when you're present, you're more likely to notice and appreciate the little things, which can lead to, you guessed it, more dopamine. Finally, let's not forget about diet. Certain foods are rich in dopamine precursors. These include almonds, avocados, bananas, eggs, and dark chocolate. But remember, moderation is key. You want to nourish your body, not overwhelm it. So, those are some simple ways to boost your dopamine levels and feel more motivated and accomplished. Remember, it's not about drastic changes, but small sustainable shifts in your lifestyle. Because when it comes to awakening your neurotransmitters, every little bit counts. Next, we focus on serotonin, often referred to as the feel-good neurotransmitter. This marvelous chemical messenger helps regulate your mood, social behavior, appetite, digestion, sleep, memory, and even sexual desire. It's no wonder why it's so crucial to our overall sense of well-being. One of the most accessible ways to stimulate serotonin production is by getting regular exposure to natural sunlight. This doesn't mean you have to spend hours baking under the scorching sun. Just a simple morning walk or opening your curtains wide to let the sunshine in your living space can do the trick. Another way to boost serotonin levels is through regular exercise. This doesn't necessarily mean you have to sign up for a marathon or engage in extreme sports. A mix of cardiovascular exercises and strength training that suits your fitness level should be enough to give your serotonin a nice nudge upwards. Now let's talk about food. Yes, what you eat can influence your serotonin levels. Foods that contain tryptophan, an essential amino acid that serves as a precursor to serotonin, can be particularly beneficial. These include turkey, salmon, nuts, seeds, tofu, and eggs. So, next time you're planning your meals, try to incorporate these serotonin-boosting foods. But it's not just about what you do or eat. It's also about how you think and feel. Practicing gratitude and engaging in activities that bring you joy and a sense of purpose can help elevate serotonin levels. So, take a moment each day to appreciate the good in your life and do more of what makes you happy. Lastly, consider incorporating relaxation techniques such as yoga or deep breathing exercises into your routine. These practices can reduce stress, promote a calm state of mind, and stimulate serotonin production. By incorporating these tips into your daily routine, you can boost your serotonin levels and enhance your mood and well-being. Remember, it's all about balance and consistency, so don't rush the process. Be patient with yourself and enjoy the journey to a healthier, happier you. Finally, let's talk about endorphins, the natural painkillers of our body. These are our body's response to stress and discomfort. They interact with the opiate receptors in the brain to reduce the perception of pain and trigger a positive feeling in the body similar to that of morphine. 
Now how can we awaken this powerful neurotransmitter? Well, there are several ways, and we'll discuss some that you can easily incorporate into your daily routine. First, regular physical exercise. This doesn't necessarily mean heavy workouts at the gym. You could dance to your favorite tunes, go for a run or play a sport you enjoy. Any form of physical activity that gets your heart pumping can stimulate the production of endorphins. Next, seek out laughter. Laughter truly can be the best medicine. It's not just an old saying, there's science behind it. When we laugh, our body releases endorphins, which helps to relieve stress and induce feelings of happiness and well-being. So, watch a sitcom, crack a joke or simply spend time with people who make you laugh. Third, practice deep breathing exercises or meditation. This can help induce a relaxation response in your body, triggering the release of endorphins. It's a simple and effective way to manage stress and enhance your mood. Fourth, engage in activities that provide a sense of accomplishment or satisfaction. This could be anything that makes you feel good about yourself, like finishing a challenging puzzle or completing a creative project. These activities can give you a sense of achievement, which can stimulate the release of endorphins. Lastly, consider natural pain relief techniques. Techniques such as acupuncture or massage not only alleviate physical discomfort but also stimulate the release of endorphins, providing a double benefit. Remember, these are just suggestions, and what works for one person might not work for another. Always listen to your body and do what feels best for you. Health is a personal journey, and it's all about finding what works best for your unique body and needs. So there you have it, some practical ways to awaken your neurotransmitters and lead a more balanced lifestyle. We've explored how to stimulate dopamine, serotonin, and endorphins, each playing a unique role in supporting our mental and physical wellness. Remember, regular exercise is a common thread for all three. Not only does it get your heart pumping and your muscles working, but it also boosts your mood, sharpens your focus, and eases stress. Aim for a blend of cardiovascular workouts and strength training, and remember, any movement is better than none. We also underscored the importance of diet. Foods rich in dopamine and serotonin precursors, like almonds, avocados, bananas, eggs, dark chocolate, turkey, salmon, nuts, seeds, tofu, can help stimulate these neurotransmitters. Moderation, balance, and variety are key. Mindfulness and meditation techniques, laughter, and activities that bring joy and a sense of accomplishment can also enhance your neurotransmitter levels. These activities not only awaken your neurotransmitters but also contribute to a balanced lifestyle, a state of calm, and a positive mindset. Natural sunlight exposure and relaxation techniques like yoga and deep breathing exercises were also mentioned, emphasizing the importance of holistic well-being that encompasses both the physical and mental aspects of health. These are general suggestions, and they may not work the same for everyone. It's vital to listen to your body, consult with a healthcare professional if needed, and prioritize your overall well-being. Remember, the journey to a balanced lifestyle is a personal one, and what works for one person may not work for another. It's about finding what fits for you, so don't be afraid to experiment, adjust, and adapt as you go. Thank you for joining us today. Please don't forget to love the like button, harmoniously subscribe, and enhance the bell for more updates on living a balanced, informed life. Your comments and feedback are always welcome. Signing off from Curio Nexus, until next time.